What is up YouTube and welcome to this Rorschach number one review and breakdown. As I'm working on catching up on my gigantic backlog of comics, I wanted to bring more comics content to this channel and this is a comic I have been excited for for a long time as DC starts to explore Watchmen even more. We've had before and after Watchmen, which I actually enjoy, despite a lot of fans not enjoying it. But Doomsday Clock was the latest in the milking of Alan Moore's great franchise, which was a gigantic letdown. And it felt like it was buckled under the weight and prestige of its predecessor and struggled really to do anything new. It was supposed to really bring in some great things, such as the JSA returning because of Dr. Manhattan messing with everything but really the delays absolutely killed it and arguably the best thing they did in that was continue on the legacy of Rorschach and have made it really a legacy mantle as we had the son of the psychotherapist who tried to fix Rorschach and it was a very cool moment there but in this issue we start off with someone trying to take out the actual kind of opponent of President Robert Redford who seems to have been president for quite a damn while. Now naturally a detective is going to look into this and ask what the heck is going on considering the original Rorschach died 35 years ago and this this issue is set 35 years after the the Watchmen there. So in the world of the Watchmen Rorschach has been reduced to a Halloween costume and cosplay but it says a lot about legacy here, especially with his journal being revealed in Doomsday Clock. You have to wonder what is going on. But this is a bit of a departure for Tom King. He's usually a very minimalist style writer, but here there's a lot of text, which I don't mind that it's nice to see the Watchmen world explored in a different style than the usual formatting of the grids, which are so incredibly iconic. Now, Robert Redford was key to Ozymandias' plans to unite the world and long-standing peace. However, his actual opponent here is, seems to be coming in the crossfires of your boy Rorschach, or at least the masked man who is pretending, at least, to be Rorschach. And it's, it's a curious one here, as the writer who is actually, they think, is Rorschach, has written about how there's fascism and it's kind of hate for this guy. It seems to be an interesting narrative, to say the less. There is a woman and a man who were the attempted assassins, but are almost unrecognisable to actually ID. The female seems to be wearing a cowgirl-style character outfit and looks to have been shot previously, adding to the mystery. What is curious is how this actually seems to be connected to the TV show The Watchmen on HBO. So it's more so than Doomsday Clock, which seemed to be its own thing, as investigating where the masks were purchased, the detective mentions that the Rorschach costume is popular even after Oklahoma, of course, referencing the Watchmen 7th Cavalry and the race riots that happened in Tulsa, and of course in the show as well. So the ones who did a false flag there are referenced, and it seems like this is somewhat set after what happened in Oklahoma. So that's a very cool thing there, and it's clearly set after the TV show. And the world of The Watchmen is now a multi-medium thing, which I really don't think Alan Moore is going to like whatsoever. But hey, it is what it is. They're able to find the tape on a knockoff assassin, a knockoff Rorschach, but they can't get it to play as a cop is interviewed at his hospital bed and is shown how Rorschach got into the campaign and the police managed to find him at the convention there. And, well, the knockoff is every bit the badass we know and shouldn't really love. However, the tape is played, and the man is, well, it is weird, as seemingly random names are actually spoken, but they are actually real people and real comic book creators. A few of them seem to be missing, but one is William Myerson, a creator of the in-universe comic Pontius Pirate, an obvious take on Pontius Pilate, a more cheesy version of the Tales from the Black Freighter of the original. And I have to say, I think that the Tales of the Black Freighter may be involved, I think, as we learn that William Myerson wrote other pirate comics in the 60s. Now, William is a crazy shut-in and a total recluse, but people worship him. Here, 
It seems Mr. King is trying to make the villain of the piece a thinly veiled Alan Moore himself, which I do admit is pretty funny. The detectives think that this is the assassin and the rest of the tapes seem to be a weird seance situation and we see more of the post-Watchman world and we even spot a callback to a comeback to New York billboard. Looking Glass, of course, or the show, was involved with a focus group to try to get tourists to come back after the event at the end of the first Watchmen series. Now, we then see a movie of Pontius Pirate actually being advertised on a billboard, and maybe Alan Moore standing is angry at the world for his comic being used in this way and using a medium he's not a fan of. Now, I mean the other names on the tape are real people like Frank Miller, Otto Binder, and Randy Cox. What if Adam Moore is in this comic as the villain? I I want to see the internet break at that. Now, even in his recluse state, Myerson would draw and seem to be a Rorschach fanatic. However, there's a big twist. It turns out the police got the prints off of Walter Kovacs' stuff back in the day, and that was, of course, the OG, only for the prints to actually match the body on the slab. Even though they suspect this comic creator is a would-be assassin and the woman with him is a woman who got carried away by the fandom, it does seem as if Rorschach himself has risen from the dead. But how? Well, that's the mystery to carry on, as the synopsis for issue two says, what's the connection between an aging comic book artist and Rorschach? That's the question. The detective investigating the attempted assassination of the presidential candidate must answer. Will Myerson, a reclusive artist known for his pirate comics, went from drawing the adventures of Pontius Pirate and the Citizen to working with a mysterious young woman hellbent on making sense of a post-Watchman world. Somewhere in the life of Will Myerson lies the key to learning more about Rorschach. My wild theory? Perhaps Walter wanted the artist to work on his journal and make a comic book out of it. Yes, <laughs> absolutely wild. But this comic... It didn't blow me away. There wasn't anything kind of like, oh, okay. It's so very different to Tom King's other work, which is always a slow burn. And again, here is a slow burn, but it didn't really feel like a standout like it did with Doomsday Clock. But we are in a different thing. And then again, the Watchmen TV show took a lot for me to get into. And once I was invested and realized what they're doing, well, I actually started to like it. But that is it for this video. Please do drop a like down below. Please do subscribe with notifications on. And I will see you soon. And goodbye.